Hello guys. Today I'll be sharing a way for you to learn how to use the by numdist function in Google Sheets through our easy and stress-free guide. The word binomial is used to refer to any event which has two possible outcomes: success or failure. For instance, the result of whether someone will get a job can either be a yes or no. The by numdist formula in Google Sheets helps to calculate the probability of getting a certain number of successes of an outcome repeated over a number of trials and the probability of success for a single trial is known let me demystify this bookish definition with a simple example consider a toss with a biased coin the probability of heads showing up is 60% then the binomdist function in google sheets would help compute the probability of the event For example, the probability of head showing up six times out of ten, given the individual probability of a single coin toss, zero point six. Okay, so moving on, we have to keep a few things in check before we use the binomdist function. First, a fixed number of trials are provided. Second, the outcome should be binary, that is, only two outcomes are possible. And last. Each trial's outcome should be independent of another trial's outcome. For our case, I have considered the experiment of a coin tossed ten times, with heads showing six times. So the probability of heads is zero point six. The occurrence of the heads is considered to be successful outcome of this event. The syntax of the binomdist function goes like this. The first part of the formula. refers to the number of successful trials of an event for which we want to calculate the probability the second part of the formula refers to the total number of trials of an event the third part of the formula refer to the probability of success and the final part of the formula takes boolean values of true or false the value is false when the probability of an individual event is to be calculated And it's true when the cumulative sum of the probabilities needs to be calculated. I'll explain both individual and cumulative probabilities. First, we'll start with the individual probability. This can be done by setting the cumulative value to false, which is the default value for the binomdist function. We'll start by writing the formula in the first cell, like this. and we got the probability of this event as you can see on your screen now we'll take google suggestion to extend this to all cells and now we have the probabilities of all the possible values of successful outcomes now we'll go ahead and calculate the cumulative probability of these possible scenarios in a separate column this can be done by changing the values of the cumulative variable to true in the formula we wrote for individual probability So we'll copy paste the formula and replace false with true, and we'll accept Google's suggestion once again to apply the formula to the whole code. And now we have the cumulative probabilities of all the possible values of successful events for our data. Notice that the cumulative for the last value is one because it consists of probabilities of all the possible scenarios. Congratulations on learning a new skill today. Tune in and don't forget to subscribe for more useful tips. Until then, adios, amigos.